The invisible ascetics of Mount Athos, Saint Paisius, the new saint of Christian Orthodoxy of Mount Athos, explains, the unknown anchorites, the invisible monks, probably one of the anchorites of Mount Athos who lived invisibly, the invisible ascetics of Mount Athos. When I came to the holy mountain for the first time in 1950, says Saint Paisius, I was going up from Gavsukalivia to St. Anne's when I lost my way. And instead of taking the path to the Skidi of St. Anne, I went up towards the peak of Athos. After I walked a long way, good long way, I realized I was too high and looked around for some path to take me down quickly. Being in such an anxious state, I implored the Mother of God to help me. And suddenly an anchorite with a radiant face appeared before me. He's about 70 years old and his clothing showed that he had no contact with people. He was wearing a habit that looked as if it was made of sailcloth, of canvas, but it was very faded and full of holes. He had fixed the holes with wooden awls, the way farmers closed holes in bags when they don't have a sack needle and string. He had a leather bag too, discolored, with the holes pulled together in the same way. Around his neck he had a thick chain on which a box hung down to his chest. It seems there was something holy inside. Before I could ask him, he said to me, My child, this is not the path to St. Anne's. And he pointed the right one to me. From his whole appearance it seemed that he was a saint. Then I asked the hermit, Where do you live, elder? He answered, somewhere around there, indicating the peak of Athos. Since I had been wandering around left and right trying to find an elder to spiritually inform me, I had forgotten what day it was and had lost track of the date. I asked the hermit and he told me it was Friday. Then he got out a little leather pouch that had bits of wood inside with notches on it. From the notches he was able to tell me the date. I took his blessing, went down the path he had shown me, and came out at the skidi of St. Anne. All the while I was turning over in my mind the lambent face the anchorite had glowing with light. Later when I heard that there are twelve anchorites at the peak of Athos, some said seven, thoughts filled my mind and related the incident to some experienced elders who told me, quote, that would have been one of the righteous anchorites who live invisibly at the peak of Athos." End quote. A contemporary monastic of Mount Athos, Father Athanasius of Simonopetra Monastery, is having a conversation with Elder Paisius in 1974 about the invisible naked ascetics that are living on Mount Athos today. In his conversation, the Elder Paisius tells Father Athanasius that there are about 50 monastics today on Mount Athos who have reached an extremely high level of spirituality. When Father Athanasius asked Father Paisius why they have not been revealed to the world, Father Paisius responded, quote, because God has not determined that the time is right to reveal them to the world, unquote. And you should know that there are examples of holiness on Mount Athos that is at a much higher level than the invisible naked ascetics." End quote. Father Paisius did not want us to talk about these ascetics because they do not want such glories as he would say to us. They are the true smart ones, supplicating God and saying to him, quote, May God, my God, do not give us glory on this earth, but keep it for the next life, that we may be glorified with you there. Do not make us known here, but in heaven." End quote. Their mission is continuous prayer in favor of all the world. They live in desert areas of Mount Athos and they are invisible by human eyes. They are appearing only to whoever they want and to be more specific, mostly to pious monks and pilgrims that they have pure and Christian life. They have the grace to say a prayer and become invisible. According to tradition, these naked hermits will be the ones who perform 
the last liturgy on the peak of Athos, and after the divine liturgy following the following the through the prayers of our holy fathers, the end of the world will come, that is, the second coming of Christ. In fact, the same will not taste death, but they will be changed and be transformed, and they will be altered even more by the grace of God." End quote. This is on Icon and Light. I'll leave a link below for you for this. You can also see the video previous to this one having to do with the invisible hermit monks of Mount Athos.